Hello everyone, Ace here, and today we are back with another Ace Impressions, this time having a look at SNK, 40th Anniversary Collection. This is a bundle of classic SNK titles that has just found its way onto GOG.com and maybe Steam. I haven't checked Steam yet, but I will. Uh, it is on sale right now for the low, low price of $15, although the full regular price is $30. So the big question is whether or not this game is worth your time, and my answer is yes. At least for the most part. It, on sale, it is definitely, but let's get into that. First of all, this, I should mention, is a pretty decent little collection in its own right. Because not only do you have the actual set of games that this bundle includes, but you also have the museum with a lot of soundtracks, uh, art, and all of that, so... For the fans out there, this is definitely a get, uh, series to get. So, if I remember correctly, there's 20-some games, give or take, in this. But there are some things that actually make this uh, little pack stand out. First of all, you have region versions uh, for a lot of these. So, you can go between the Japanese and the international releases, which is a nice little touch for some of the hardcore fans out there. In addition... You have multiple platforms. You could do arcade, you could do console for Ikari Warriors, for example. Not sure why you'd want to do the console versions of Ikari Warriors, but because the arcade versions are the ones to play, but for the purists out there, you can do both. However, in some cases, there are only console versions because they only ever made console versions. So, for example, Iron Tank here, they only ever made console versions of this game. But let's go ahead and get into a new game of that. And this one is one of those games where when I found out about, I knew that I had to buy this pack. Because this game is part of my childhood. Now, best way for me to describe Iron Tank, it's, well, it's a, uh, it's a vehicle that shooter, shooter, quite simple at its core. However, there's a lot more to this game. Because it actually has... Well, RPG mechanics of sorts, or some slight. And so, well, actually, it's, they say it, but it's really more resource management, which places it closer to a something similar to the old Strike games, in my opinion. We did lose some health there because the infantry got on our way and he ended up ramming us, but that's okay because we can pick up more health from this. Am All right. Now these ow. Yeah, you got me there, fair and square. However, what we can do is where's the bright button? There it is. Okay. What we can do is activate some of our items, uh, some of our special weapons supplies here. And this will make our shots more powerful. Now you do have limited ammo for these types, but you pick up more in the field. So that's where the resource management comes in. You can, of course, combine them as you want. So overall, a pretty good game. And running over the infantry gives you more health. Oh, let's hear what the radio has for us. Snake, watch out. Use radar. Gigantic enemy objects up ahead. Okay. So, boss battle. That's a symbol to start using more of our specialties. Okay, let's completely emasculate this boss. <laughs> Did I mention there's also branching paths? So you can get... So the gameplay experience actually varies a little bit. I 
make sure our ammo yep we are out of those types of ammo so we'll just how avoid that and then we can actually this is one of those games where it can actually be difficult to put down because of just how fun it is okay let's see what the radio says Apparently the radio just got deactivated just as we were about to start it up. Okay, we got hit there pretty good. It looks like we want to get some more blast. Alright, so this I think is a good time to stop though. Just because I'm having way too much fun and otherwise I'd be here all day. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and instead jump into Ikari Warriors 1. Just to show you how that game plays. And it is... So it's another World War II-ish setting from the looks of it. Although I'm thinking it's probably set a little later. Maybe. But yeah, this is a proper tent twin stick shooter. A little bit of a difficult one, too. Still a classic, though, for good reason. Just make sure, like I said, to play the arcade versions rather than the consoles. Another little feature I can show you since I screwed up there a little bit. is that you can actually go back if you screw up. Unfortunately, I screwed up a little bit there because I wasn't able to pick up the weapon power up, but that's fine. So you can cheese this game a little bit. Save scumming is apparently a built-in feature, but hey. This is old school arcades, so you can choose... But yeah, it's a fun little game, and you also get to drive around in a tank in this thing, too, although, admittedly. Alright, well, I died there. Well, I can just... Yeah, I know, I say skimming a little bit too much there. But th what's interesting is that this is one of those cases where... The game actually does some, or the franchise takes some rather interesting little uh, directions, we'll say, in the sequels and whatnot. So here's why I think it is worth it for the asking price. Let's assume that you're playing this game. I'll just go ahead and actually just, yeah. But yeah, assuming that you uh, pick this up, you if you can get at least say what maybe five or so, five or so games that are worth your time, then I do think it would be worth the fifteen dollar asking price. And I can definitely think of at least I can think of more than that that are worth my time on this because you have Iron Tank, you have the the Ikari Warriors, you have TNK, which is the original thing before Iron Tank. Finally got ourselves our little own tank. Now the tank is a one shot, even for enemy small arms, which is hilarious. And you also have a limited amount of fuel. So make sure not to screw that up either. However, the, as you can see, the game is a blast.
So we've upgraded our grenades from the looks of it. All right, so as you can see, an absolute blast of a game in its own right. Oop, he got me. That's, that's fine. That's a good stopping point anyways for that. And so, yeah, like I said, is it worth the asking price? I would say yes on sale. If you, if however you are unsure and it does go off sale by the time you see this um, for, at 30 bucks, I will say this, uh, if you can find 10 games, then it would, in theory, be worth it that way. And there does seem to be enough good games here to make it worth your time. I really like Iron Tank and TNK here. And, and I also, of course, like the um, Ikari Warriors, at least the arcade versions. Like I said, don't play the console versions because those are hilariously awful, but definitely the arcade versions, yeah, sure. But uh, yes, in any case, this has been Ace. Hope to see you guys again soon. Take care. Ace out.